Welcome to day five of Vlogmas. So I didn't get up extremely late today, which is good. I still got up very late, but not like extremely late like yesterday, so I'm counting that as progress. So I'm gonna keep trying to go back maybe like a half hour every night until I get back to uh, the good, comfortable morning times I like to get up at. So hopefully I can do it, fingers crossed. But um, right now I'm just making an omelet. Sorry for the dirty stove top. <laughs> Yeah, just making an omelette. This is usually what I have for lunch every day. I'm gonna put some uh, some cheese on it, and that's usually how I have it. So I'm gonna have that while watching Ellen, which starts in 15 minutes. And yeah, not too sure what the plan is today. I think I'm going to uh, go to Starbucks later because there's I I like going to Starbucks and just sitting in there and you know fiddling around on, on my laptop. So. I'm gonna do that. I might clean up a bit in my room and uh, just the upstairs area while my parents are gone just to get things tidied up. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So remember I said that my cat doesn't like the neighbor's cat? This is what's going on right now. <laughs> Danza, be nice. Her tail is completely <laughs> ruffled up. She's not happy. Yo, so um, it's been a really slow, kind of unproductive day so far right now. <sighs> not too much has happened. It's um, 6.10 now at night and um, I'm home alone again because uh, my brother's gone to work. So um, I'm just trying to work with my dinosaur computer right now. It's pretty much obviously entering its last um, usable life. The keyboard sometimes doesn't work, like it's on and off. I've had to plug in um, an actual mouse because the touchpad is, it just doesn't work anymore. And right now I'm looking at a lovely white screen because it's not loading, so... And I've had a few issues I've managed to work around with it um, over the past few months, but it's getting close to time to get a new laptop, so... i would start looking around for one. Um, I'm thinking of getting um, a Mac for my next laptop. I, I'm more of a PC person, like this is a PC right here, but... Um, I really want to get into vlogging like more and as kind of a lifestyle thing and um, there's no doubt that Mac technology is much better for video editing and you know mixing sound and all that so um, I think a Mac would be better in that sense but I'm a lot more comfortable using a PC like this is just I've used these all my life so um, Macs I'm not as comfortable using but I think I'd like to get used to one if I uh, get serious into this vlogging uh, thing so We'll see. It's I, I still have a little bit of time left with this laptop, and I probably won't realistically get a new laptop till next year, maybe mid to late next year, so we'll see. But yeah, so the plan for today... Um, it's 6.11 now. I think I'm going to go to Starbucks around 7 o'clock, because I want to go hang out for a bit there. Um, but I want to do something with my day, something productive. So I think um, I'm after I... Uh, if my computer responds and I finish watching the vlog I started watching, I'm gonna go up and just clean a couple of things out of my room for half an hour just to get some of it done and then uh, go to Starbucks and reward myself. Oh, also, this little thing over here. Pet owners, I think, will understand. I usually let her sleep on top of me, like when I go to bed at night, like she hops up and just, you know, sleeps with me at night. But somehow being only three feet maybe two feet long just a small little animal she manages to completely hog my bed and make me sleep in a compromising position like I swear last night I woke up in the middle of the night kind of uncomfortable she'd managed to go directly in the middle of my bed in a full stretched out position and she was literally hogging the middle of my bed and I had to sleep in like a C position, <laughs> like I was literally in the shape of a C and I didn't want to move like to disturb her, like again pet owners will understand, but yeah, if I ever get a bad night's sleep it's because of her. So anyway, I'm gonna continue on, try to get my laptop to work and then Starbucks. So I figured I would make my um, protein shake that I make every, uh, every day. Um to drink. It's part of my uh, diet. It's where I get almost half, more than half of my daily calories actually for um, the 3,000 uh, calorie goal I set every day. So I'm just about to blend it now. It Again, it doesn't look that good, but it turns out tasting really good. Um, 
what it is is it's basically um, two cups of uh, whole milk. Um, it's one uh, serving of Greek yogurt. I like the vanilla one. It's um, a third of a cup of oats, uh, a banana, and um, I also have a scoop of uh, my whey protein over here. And oh, hello, kitty. And I also put a. Uh, I don't know if I said a. Oh yeah, I did say a banana. I also put um, eight tablespoons of olive oil in. I know that sounds kind of nasty, but I don't even taste it when it's in there. It, it makes it a little more creamier, actually, and um, olive oil is packed with um, calories, which is a lifesaver for people trying to gain um, weight like me. So, just gonna blend this up now. Turn it on. And off we go. And this is the finished product. It comes up to about um, four cups, which is a little bit hard to drink sometimes, I kind of have to, you know, set aside times to drink it, but um, again, it's such a lifesaver, because I said in another vlog, but I'm a, a pretty slow eater, so just to be able to drink these is such a lifesaver for me to get my calories in, so. Oops, I just realized for the first bit of this vlog, I had a little bit of bedhead going on on the top of my head, so sorry about that, I just fixed it, and I still have a bit to do on it, but I gotta fix it before I go out and go out in public. But I want to show you guys my room situation first so you can see what I'm dealing with. So the first thing you see when you come up to my room door is this lovely collage of hideous stickers everywhere. And just to note, this room has not changed since I was 10 years old. I'm 20 years old now, almost 21. It has not changed at all. <laughs> so these have been collected over the years. My, my Whistler sticker from when I went to Whistler. Spongebob stickers from elementary school, country stickers from elementary school, just the whole thing. This needs to go when I get um, my room redone. But let's open up my room so you can see the horrendousness. Dun, da, da, da. Oh geez. <laughs> so as you can see, it's a huge mess. In case you couldn't tell, I had a little bit of a Spongebob obsession when I was, when I was younger. <laughs> But, um, yeah, even the, oh geez, the back of this door, just the whole thing was done like this when I was 10 years old and it just has not changed. I used to share my room with my brother Luke, so he used to sleep over here. We had, like, beds on each side, and my name's buried under that wall over there. I haven't even changed the date on my chalkboard because I've been too lazy and I turned 18 that year. Uh, this wall of different things. My Olympic torch from when I carried it. My torchbearer outfit from when I carried it. Um, my wisdom teeth for some reason. And this, I have this entire box full of, um, full of things like a notebook from when I was in grade nine. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if this thing still works. Oh, it does. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I think it's out of battery. But, um, yeah, all sorts of stuff. It's just a complete chaos. Over here looks a little neater because I've organized some stuff into bins, but it was still an absolute mess before, and I still have a bit of work to do. Um, I could have probably, if I was more assertive, I could have probably f cleared all this out in a couple of days of hard work, but I've just been lazy, so that's just how it is. And one of the worst parts is underneath this pillow, there is broken glass. <laughs> a picture broke here a couple of months ago, and I was going to bed, so I just tossed a pillow on top of it, but that needs to go before I get hurt or someone else gets hurt coming into my room, so I have a ton of stuff to clean in here. Um, one thing I wanted to show you is um, this thing I bought. It's a... Uh, I bought it a month ago. It's a, a video lighting kit because I'd um, eventually the plan is I want to paint this room. At first I wanted to paint it lime green, but I'm thinking yeah, yeah I'm thinking I'm gonna paint it blue, kind of like a light or I don't know some shade of blue. I think blue would work better, but I'd like to maybe transform either this corner or this entire wall and um, use it to and push my bed back this way or that way so that. I can have a little a little lighting studio over here so that 
hopefully if everything goes to plan in the new year, after my room's redone and I get this set up, I can start um, uploading sketch videos to my channel because I have a ton of ideas and I want to do them but I just have nowhere to do them so um, hopefully if I can get my room redone I can make a little corner over here, my little internet corner and start making sketch videos and hopefully they'll get me um, you know, a few subscribers here and there so that's the plan but until then I have to get rid of my cat poster I've had for years oh geez, everything in here some things are gonna stay, like a couple of my stuffed animals I can't get rid of, but... And my Disney World hat is gonna stay, but... Like, I think these posters gotta go. The colors gotta go. It, oh, it's just horrible. So, I wanted to show you guys that so you know what I'm dealing with, and it's just so messy. So, I'm looking forward to when it's gonna be clean, when I can start making videos in here, when I can make it a proper space for me to be in. So, yeah. Let's clean up a little bit. This is that program I that doesn't work, that came with it, that delayed the audio, so I still haven't figured that out. I'm using a different program right now, but it's supposed to have cool Hollywood effects, so eventually if I start making videos, I can use those. comes with a green screen, um, softbox lights, and um, it was kind of expensive, but I'm, I, like, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm really getting serious into wanting to do YouTube, um, so I figured it was a good investment, and hopefully it pays off. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's supposed to look make my videos look really nice. So when I start doing sketch videos, I think that'll be re really good to have. You know, I'm amazed how some of this stuff gets literally sucked into my desk. <laughs> this thing was from my local gym. Like we, uh, they had a little promotion for the Olympics earlier this year. But this was this was from this year, and I just found it buried under literally a pile of stuff. I don't even know. I don't remember putting anything on this desk this year. So. I think literally it's alive and it's sucking in things, which is how I'm losing all this stuff, so it's blowing my mind. It's um, it's actually kind of fun cleaning right now because I'm finding a ton of stuff that I had completely forgotten about and I'm kind of getting a little nostalgic at times, so anyway, I've created a uh, keep bin right here, so this is all stuff that I'm digging up that I want to keep. This is all stuff that I'm not sure about, so I'm going to go through with uh, my parents when they come back and figure out what we throw out and what we keep. Then hopefully we can proceed with uh, remodeling this room to make it more appropriate for a 20-year-old. Okay, this is cute what I just came across. Um, so here in Canada, the Canada Post, like our National Postal Service, they have this um, thing they have around holiday time every year where you can write to Santa Claus and you address your... Um, your letter with uh, Santa Claus, North Pole, H-O-H-O-H-O, -O -O, Canada, and so that's when I did mine. Um, but, I mean, this is my note. It's so, it's so cute. So it's just him telling me to be nice and at the end, see you soon, be good, so. This must have been from when I was like 10 or 11 years old, so that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to keep this. Wow, I am pretty damn impressed with myself. I've cleared off almost my entire desk. Um, I'm gonna stop now because it's 8 o'clock and um, I want to at least go to Starbucks for a little bit. So I'm gonna go for about an hour and then come back and uh, me and Eric will probably order a pizza for dinner. But I'm so thrilled it hasn't been this empty for a long time. So this entire desk is gonna go like I'm, it's not even gonna be saved. There's, I don't even know what like this is. Like, it, there's just a lot of stuff. But m the stuff that's left on here is stuff I just don't know what to do with if I want to throw it out or keep it or so I'm going to uh, go through a bit of that. The only things left to go through are uh, the under part of my desk and uh, up here. So I think once I get through that we'll be ready to start renovating this thing. So let's go to Starbucks now. Starbucks. Okay, just got back from Starbucks, and that was good. I wish I could have stayed there longer. I was only there for about 40 minutes. I usually like to stay for like an hour and a half to two hours, but uh, whatever. I wanted to come home. It's 9.09 .09 now. I wanted to be home around 9 when uh, Eric gets home from work so we can decide what to do for dinner. He should be home any minute now, so um, I have a feeling we're probably going to get pizza tonight, but uh, we'll see. Here's one of the gems I uncovered from my cleanup in my room today. Turn it on.
<laughs> I'm so happy this still works. Okay, let's just turn it off because it's a little noisy. I got that in 2008 on my grade 8 grad trip and it, <laughs> I'm so happy it still works. Cool. Dinner is in fact pizza. And this was free pizza, which is even better. At the place we go to, they give you a sticker every time you buy a pizza, and when you collect 10 of them, they give you a free pizza. So that's what we got today, and it's the perfect size for us, so I'm gonna dig into this. It's that time of day again. Let's find out what tea we're drinking tonight. Day four down here. Dun da da da! Oh, day four, one, day five. Okay. Day five is all the way up here. So what do we get? Ooh, a green tea, organic detox. Cool. Well, look who wants to be in the video today. Alrighty, this looks pretty good. We'll have to see how it tastes. Organic detox. So that's what it looks like. Oops, blurry again. Alright, the ingredients say that inside it there is rooibos, I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's rooibos, um, sencha green tea, lemongrass, ginger, juniper berries, ginkgo, ginkgo, don't know how to say that either, but natural lemon flavoring and it's kosher. How exciting is that? Alright, gotta do the smell test, so. Hmm. Not gonna lie, it smells kind of like cough syrup. <laughs> but I'm sure it tastes nice if it's a green tea, so we'll find out. Almost at 85 degrees. Yeah! Just pouring it in now. No, Danza, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, let's see how it tastes. It still smells like cough syrup, so let's see. Yeah, it's okay, but it just it has this medicinal taste to it, but it's all right. It's it's nice, I guess. Time to watch the amazing race. All right, so I'll end the vlog here, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed this video. Bye.